a gracious good day to one and all once again. Tis I, Norton the First, by grace of God, Emperor of the United States and Protector of Mexico, back with you once again for episode number 136 of Emperor Norton's fantastic history vlog. Today is September 10, 2020. It is our 175th day under COVID-19 restrictions. We are coming to you today from the lovely Imperial Gardens. And if you saw yesterday's episode or you've read anything in the media, you know that yesterday was a truly bizarre day in the Bay Area with dark orange skies, very little sunlight getting through. It basically was not daytime at all yesterday. It's a little better today. I don't know if the uh, video is picking this up well. The sky is kind of yellowish right now. Atmospheric conditions are better. So what caused that yesterday, this is very interesting, was the smoke and ash from the fires that are burning all around us. It got into the upper atmosphere and basically absorbed all the blue light. So that's why the sky looked like it did yesterday here in the Empire. Well, let us begin with our national days. Today is International Suicide Prevention Day. Here's the number for the Suicide Prevention Hotline. If you are thinking about uh, committing suicide or know somebody that is, this is a number that can help them. And have them stay away from the Golden Gate Bridge, please. Yes. It is Swap Ideas Day. So if you've got an idea, place it below and we'll respond with an idea of our own. How's that sound? It is TV Dinner Day, and we'll get to why later on. Blame it on the Hadron Collider Day. We'll get to that later on, too. But it seems like whenever something went wrong in the world, everybody blamed it on the Hadron Collider, and maybe that's what's responsible for all the things that are going on right now. Oh, we forgot to mention the Bonsai Collection that we're showing you today. This is a sago palm. It's, it's doing quite well. I know it's got a couple brown leaves, but it's supposed to. They grow very slowly. But this is our magnificent ginkgo, and it is quite lovely. As you can see, the leaves are starting to turn. They'll turn bright yellow over the next few weeks and eventually fall off for the winter, but isn't it, isn't it beautiful? It's one of our favorites. A little bit of moss growing in here. It's, it's quite lovely. Well, let's move on with our Florida Man segment. Florida Man today. September 10, naked Florida man arrested in burglary. There seem to be a lot of naked Florida men. What's that all about? Our San Francisco story today is in this date, on this date, in 1913, the Lincoln Highway opens as the first paved coast-to-coast -coast highway. The Lincoln Highway is one of the earliest transcontinental highway routes for automobiles across the United States of America. Conceived in 1912 by Indiana entrepreneur Carl G. Fisher and formally dedicated on October 31st, 1913, the Lincoln Highway ran coast to coast from Times Square in New York City west to Lincoln Park here on the western edge of San Francisco, originally through 13 states, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, Nevada, and California. In 1915, the Colorado Loop was removed, and in 1928, a realignment relocated the Lincoln Highway through the northern tip of West Virginia. Thus, there were a total of 14 states, 128 counties, and more than 700 cities, towns, and villages through which the highway passed at some time or another. The Lincoln Highway was gradually replaced with numbered designations after the establishment of the U.S. numbered highway system in 1926, with most of the route becoming part of U.S. Route 30 from Pennsylvania to Wyoming. After the interstate highway system was formed in the 1950s, the former alignments of the Lincoln Highway were largely superseded by Interstate 80 as the primary coast-to-coast -coast route from New York City the New York City area to San Francisco. Of course, Highway 80 is very, very important here in the Bay Area. In fact, it goes across our bridge. Other history for today, the year 1349. Jews who survived a massacre in constant Germany are burned to death. 1608, John Smith is elected president of the Jamestown Colony Council in Virginia. 1823, Simone Boulevard is named president of Peru. 
1882, the first na international conference to promote anti-Semitism, meets in Dresden, Germany. It was called the Congress for Safeguarding of Non-Jewish Interests. 1940 on this day, Buckingham Palace is hit by a German bomb. 1953, Swanson sells its first TV dinner. Let's go into a little bit more detail about that. The first Swanson brand TV dinner was produced in the United States and consisted of a Thanksgiving meal of turkey, cornbread dressing, frozen peas, and sweet potatoes packaged in a tray like those used at the time for airline food service. Each item was placed in its own compartment. And if I remember the story right, it was created because Swanson had an abundance of frozen turkeys sitting, or just turkeys sitting around. Didn't know what to do with it. They packaged it in this new innovative packaging, little separate trays in the aluminum, and TV dinners caught on from there. 8, 1966, pardon me, the Beatles' Revolver album goes number one and stays number one for six weeks, one of their greatest records in our opinion. 1984, the first episode of the daily syndicated version of Jeopardy with Alex Trebek as host. He replaced Art Fleming, who hosted the show from 1964 to 1975, and again from 1978 to 1979. And best wishes to Alex Trebek, who is battling cancer. We hope he survives. What a great show, Jeopardy. It's a truly intelligent game show. 1990, Ellis Island reopens as a museum. If you've never been there, it's well worth seeing. 1992, Lucy in the Peanuts comic strip raises her psychiatric help from five cents to 47 cents. Wow, inflation. 1993, the 1,000th Boeing 747 jumbo plane is produced. 2008, the Large Hadron Collider is described as the biggest scientific experiment in the history of mankind is powered up in Geneva, Switzerland. Let's move on to our births today. 1907, Faye Ray from King Kong and just saw her in the deadliest game, I believe it was called. Ooh, should have looked that up before we came out here, but just saw it the other night. It was very good. 1909, Raymond Scott. Now, there's a name you may not be familiar with, but you certainly know his music if you're a fan of cartoons of the 1940s and 50s. Uh, he was an innovator in music, wrote the song Powerhouse, which has been used in many, many cartoons, especially some of the Warner Brothers ones. Check his music out. It's excellent. Uh, speaking of music, one of my favorite musicians, a great love, Ema Sumac was born on this date in 1927. She was known as the Peruvian Nightingale. She had a five octave range, and we saw her perform on a number of occasions. She was wonderful. Have an autographed picture of her, actually. Maybe we'll try to take a picture of that, put it up. A rather interesting story as to how we obtained it. We were taking pictures in the Silver Lake section of Los Angeles. Needed to get a picture from a rooftop, couldn't get rooftop access to the building. So on our way down the steps, we saw somebody coming out of an apartment, asked if we could take a picture out of the window, take the pictures, turn around. There's all this Ema Sumac stuff everywhere. So we asked the gentleman, why do you have all this Ema Sumac stuff? And he replied that he was Ema Sumac's personal assistant. Yeah, right, we said. But we thought we would test him and ask for an autographed picture of Ema, which we received in the mail not too long afterwards. And we had a number of other autographs from Ema. And indeed, the, the signature absolutely matched, so we know it's authentic. We have liked to spread the rumor in recent years, which is not true whatsoever, that Ema Sumac played a villain on the TV series Batman. She was the siren who would use her voice to break glass so the Joker could take the jewelry out of the glass cases. Not true whatsoever, but absolutely believable, indeed. 1929, the great golfer Arnold Palmer um, asked his wife what she did for good luck the night before his golf tournament. So check out the clip from the Johnny Carson Show. I don't think I can say it here. 1933, German fashion designer Karl Lagerfeld. 1934, one of our favorite newscasters, Charles Kuralt. Uh, he did the On the Road series for CBS News. Excellent stuff. 1939, Mother Flawless Sabrina, 
aka Jack Dora Show, American LGBT activist, drag queen, and pioneer for transgender people and drag queens. 1941, writer Stephen J. Gould, also a paleontologist. 1945, the great flamenco guitarist and singer Jose Feliciano. 1953, Amy Irving, born in Palo Alto, from Yentl, Carey, Crossing to Lancey, etc. 1960, one of our favorite cartoonists, Alison Bechtel, uh, got her start doing a strip called Dykes to Watch Out For, but is most best known for her graphic novel, Fun Home, which also became a wonderful Broadway show. If it ever comes around to where you live, it's well worth seeing. 1995, the birth of Pinky and the Brain. Happy 25th birthday. One is a genius, the other is insane. Deaths today. 1961, Leo Carrillo, the actor who played Poncho on the Cisco Kid series. Uh, of course, there's a beach named after him near Malibu. I believe he donated the land. Don't quote me on that. 1976, Dalton Trumbo, American writer and director. He was blacklisted, but was brought back, wrote many, many great movies. Just a true talent. A wonderful biopic was uh, done on him a, a number of years ago with, uh, God, I knew I was going to forget his name. Uh, he's the guy that played Walter White in Breaking Bad. Uh, I'll put it up next to me here. You all know who I'm talking about, unfortunately. We don't this morning. <laughs> Should look these things up in advance. Oh well, we'll move on. It'll come into my head in a moment. All right. 1991, the actor Yves Montan. Another actor, 2014, Richard Kyle or Keel. Uh, 2016, Eddie Antar, founder and CEO of Crazy Eddie Electronics Store, and just in this morning, Dame Diana Rigg, who was Mrs. Peel, Emma Peel from the Avengers. And so let us end today with a quote from Emma Peel. I have to grab something here, sorry. Okay. Always keep your bowler on in times of stress and watch out for diabolical masterminds. Excellent advice, we would say. We have our bowler on. And we're always on the watch out for diabolical masterminds. A few reminders. The Countess and I do accept tips for this blog. Uh, it does cost us some money to do this, so we really appreciate our wonderful donors. We've had a few. So here's the information for that. If you'd like to do a subscription, monthly subscription, any amount, you can do that through Patreon or our PayPal link is right there as well for a one-time donation to us. Also, here's the website for more information about the tours that the Countess and I normally do and will be doing someday again very, very soon, we hope. Uh, Emperor Norton's fantastic San Francisco Time Machine, Drag Me Along Tours, San Francisco Food Safari. Click on any of those websites that are listed there. Click more for information, it says. It'll take you to the individual website. There you will find tons of information uh, about history, recipes, all kinds of different things. So, check that out. Also, a week from today, we are celebrating the 162nd anniversary of the Nortonian era, the day we declared ourselves the Emperor of the United States. So the Emperor Norton Legacy League is having a special event that night. It's free via Zoom. You'll find the recipe for the Emperor Norton Sunday. Make one and consume it during our program, which will consist of a round of Ask the Emperor. You'll be allowed to ask us questions as well as you answering the question, what do we mean to you? So please, please come, it's free. You'll have a great, great fun. Well, that wraps it up for today. So until we meet again, stay safe, stay inside, therefore, stay healthy. If you do go outside, wear a mask, it's very, very important. Don't take unproven cures that might kill you. Be kind to one another. Until we see you again, a gracious good.